Yesterday was kind of a bad day. Um, I was back in one of them digester tanks again, that 200,000 gallon poop tank. Cleaning it out with a pressure washer again. Yeah, the boots that I was wearing gave me a rash again, uh, but it got worse this time. Uh, it's like kind of like a like a chemical burn or whatever, or a lime burn, I guess, is what my boss said, but it looks horrible. Check it out. Look at that. I don't know what the hell that is. That looks like a deer. Oh man, someone gutted a deer and just left it there. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. Fucking bastards. So they're probably hunting illegally, is what I'm guessing. Um, and yeah, so they just basically got it and left it there. It's like, you know, you kind of put it out in the trees or the woods somewhere and left it there instead of like out in the open like that. It's just kind of messed up. You know, for someone else to deal with. Whereas if it was left way in the woods somewhere, nobody would have had to have dealt with it. So it's just kind of sick and messed up. I don't know why people do that stuff. You know, if, if people are going to hunt, that's totally fine. But uh, they need to do it the right way. There's a reason why they have like hunting season and times where you're supposed to hunt. And I'm not sure if now is that time or whatever. Because I don't know shit about hunting really. Not much. Uh, but I do know like when it is hunting season, you're allowed a certain amount of tags or whatever. So everybody should be like, you know, you know, on the up and up with that. I think you have to purchase those tags so you can go shoot the deer. And so yeah, it should be done right. I don't know if you're supposed to kill does or what. Or if you're just supposed to only kill the bucks. I'm really not sure on that one. But that sure looked like a doe to me. So um, I think like everything about that was pretty messed up to be honest. So I talked to the neighbor kid yesterday after we saw that deer. And he said there wasn't any like gunshot wounds or anything like that on it. But I don't know. Then again if, they were, if it was shot in the belly he wouldn't know. Because the belly was pretty much gone. Anyway. Um, maybe it was hit by a car or something, but, uh, he had said there was, like, vultures, like, picking the meat out of that deer, and that's why it's all, like, gutted, basically. That's crazy. Crazy, that mother nature, huh? Anyway, it's Wednesday, and, uh, I got a late start today. They said to just, you know, come in at, like, 1030, so I'm chilling. Uh, figure I do a little bit of cleaning here. Check this out. There's a ton of cardboard in here that I think I should try to like maybe consolidate, make it smaller. I'm gonna try to do that. So it feels good to get this cleaned up just a little bit. Uh, I got a lot more to do in here, but you know, do a little bit at a time. There we go. Get it all at least bagged up, boxed up. It's a lot more consolidated than it was. Table's kind of clear. And uh, let's see here. Oh yeah. And the top of that was covered with dust and hair. I got that all wiped down, so yeah. Not too bad, huh, buddy? What do you think? It's pretty good? Go boy. Yeah. You want to go outside? You do? <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Check out my knife sets I got from my dad. And he gave me this blender. Boom. And then over here, he gave me some, like, pots and pans and stuff. Pretty cool. Look at these goats. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> get him, get him. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's crazy. I'm out here in uh, Roy, out in the country doing some uh, riser installs. Check out these big bad boys. These are the 30 inch risers. They're huge. Yep. That's what we're doing. Hey, we're making some hours at least. So we got a problem with this job. As you can see, this is a 30 inch riser. We don't need a 30 inch riser here. We could have put a 24 inch riser here. So, yeah, that's not gonna fly. And then over here, same thing. You can see that's just a 24. That concrete lid, that's a 24. We don't need a 30. And if you look at this thing, it's, it's about a foot too low. And the whole point of the riser is to bring it up to grade, so. This ain't gonna fly. So I guess I'm going to have to take all this crap back, 45 minutes back to the shop, and get the right material and come back. That is what it is. <sighs> they ain't gonna be happy, but hey, this is not on me. What's up, guys? What's going on? It is Friday morning. Um, yesterday I got this in the mail. Check it out. Elgato HD60S once again. So we are ready to do live stream gaming once again on the Xbox. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yesterday was kind of a bad day. Um, I was back in one of them digester tanks again. That 200,000 gallon poop tank. I was in another one of those cleaning it out with a pressure washer again. You know, getting shit in my face, all that good stuff, right? Anyway, the boots that I was wearing gave me a rash again, uh, but it got worse this time. Uh, it's like kind of like a like a chemical burn or whatever, or a lime burn, I guess, is what my boss said. But it looks horrible. Check it out. Look at that. Freaking hurts. I got a little bit on my stomach too. Anyway. Um, Last night, um, after I got off work, my boss met me at Fred Meyer and got me a bunch of supplies, um, like uh, hydrogen peroxide and toothbrushes and, and vinegar and hydrocortisone cream and gauze and all kinds of goodies um, and big thing of bare aspirin. So last night. Um, I came home and we don't have hot water right now because the water heater's not working. Um, I guess my landlord's gonna fix it for me, so yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> but I took a shower last night, a cold shower, and um, cleaned my burn, burns, and um, did what my boss said. I took a toothbrush and I like brushed with a hydrogen peroxide on my uh, burns with the toothbrush and that burned like hell but then after that I uh, splashed vinegar all over it and it was like the most pain ever man oh my god that sucked I should have recorded myself screaming in the bathroom <laughs> you guys would probably be like god damn that sucks anyway yeah it did it did suck but um, I, after that I went to bed and didn't sleep that great because you know every time I like move my legs it hurt um, I did wrap it lightly with gauze uh, both legs while I was sleeping <sighs> anyway today I'm awake and I'm working on setting up uh, my live stream setup, and we are gonna live stream some Elder Scrolls Online. They got a new expansion called Elsewhere, or however you pronounce it, I don't know, but anyway, I've got the new expansion. 
and I'm gonna get like ESO plus and all that good stuff and we're gonna start um, from scratch from level one actually I think I'm at level four or five now I played a little bit but yeah starting from the beginning guys and uh, I used to play a lot of Elder Scrolls online I got all the way up to like champion 600 so yeah starting from the beginning kind of sucks but I don't know it'll be a new experience with new expansions that I've never played and you know we'll have fun together so hopefully you guys will join my live stream and uh, come hang out <sighs> anyway um, I guess that's it I'm gonna go ahead and close this one off so appreciate y'all smash that like subscribe if you haven't already peace out